Alright, so I uh, am going to use a uh, support, essentially an armature or a mold, um, to support a piece of clay that I'm wrapping around it. So I'm going to, I've got some paper wrapped around this can. Um, you know, if you're doing something this small, you don't necessarily need the support like I've got here. Um, but I can show you on a small scale what you can also do on a larger scale. So this can, this uh, this paper that's stuck onto here is going to help me uh, have the the clay not stick to the can, right? And so I'm going to wrap this clay up around this can, and hopefully I've measured correctly. Uh, yeah, there we go. And then that can can help me make sure that this is a, a nice round um, edge, or, or I mean a nice round shape when I'm done. So I can score and slip, or with wet clay, I can simply press it in place. And I don't have to worry too much, if I'm using a mold, a, a can in the middle, or a support of some sort in the middle, I don't have to worry too much about um, squishing the wall, because I've got that support inside of there. So I can bring, come in with my hands and shape it, or on this seam, I can quickly use a rib and, is that in the shot? And I can quickly compress that seam. It's a nice, quick way to do a shape, and you know, if you're doing a number of shapes, this might be helpful. If you're doing a shape that's not quite a round shape, if you find a mold that you're working with, um, that can be helpful as well. Also, if I wanted to, I've got some pressure behind here, so using a texture roller makes it, it is perhaps a little bit more even, maybe even more even if I do it this way, right? Um, because I've got that support behind it. Now, when you are ready to take this off, it's really important that you've used either plastic or paper in, be in between the can or, or whatever surface you've got, because otherwise the clay is going to stick. Now, if I left this clay to dry on this support, on this piece of metal, what's going to happen is the clay is going to shrink as it dries. The can is not going to shrink, as you know, and the clay is, if you leave it on too long, it'll actually crack off of here. So I want to get, once I've got this shape that I want, I want to get that support out. Because I've taped the paper on, um, well, okay, this time it just all came off, but sometimes the paper will actually uh, just stay put and the can will slide out from it. I taped it a little too tight and that's why it, it hung on to there. Watch out with shapes. This one has a little bit of a lip, and so I was able to put this on here loose enough that it still slid out. But if you get a piece that has a narrowness in the middle, that's not going to come out. You're going to have to find some other way to get it out of there. Um, and then, of course, I've got a little bit of can shape, you know, can texture on the inside, and if you want that, great. If you don't, um, then you, you're going to have to plan to get in there and smooth that out later on. Um, you can do this sort of thing with other shapes that are not perfectly round, but like I said, make sure that you're, you don't want to have a narrow spot inside, you know, hidden in between some wider spots. Thanks.